welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and thanks for tuning in so today's video is going to be a first impressions makeup tutorial I have a couple of things that I just got recently some of them are PR some of them I bought with my money and I've not used them before so I felt like it would be really good to just come on here and create a look using these things for the first time so essentially telling you guys what I think about them so it's a first impression as the title says I've seen people do this here on YouTube so I'm just going to get right into it right, so I've moved in a bit I'm going to start out with my eyebrows as usual I'll be using this eyebrow pencil here and it's by a brand called Mabrook and this is the eyebrow pencil in brown it has a spoolie at the end here I'm going to use this to comb my brows upwards and use it to fill my brows in as well Okay, so the one thing that I've noticed is that this just feels like your regular eyebrow pencil. It's not waxy, which is good, but then it just feels like your regular eyebrow pencil. There's really nothing like fantastic about it. To define, I'll be using my MAC 266 angled brush and my NW40 concealer by MAC. This is the usual concealer that I normally use. So the first color that I'm going to apply on my eyes is this one here. It's actually a blush and not an eyeshadow, but it's very, very orange. It's this one here by Classic Makeup. I'm just going to take a little bit and this is going to go in my transition area just to give my crease color something to transition into. It's actually really, really soft and really, really pigmented. This Classic Makeup is a brand that you see everywhere here in Lagos. I feel like they're everywhere in Nigeria as well because I have a friend in Portacot and she told me that this is also everywhere in Portacot and they're really affordable this sold for like 1050 naira I actually forgot that I was supposed to apply a primer so I'll be using this one here by Lorac cosmetics this came in an eyeshadow palette that I got um, from them so I've never used this before and I hope that it prevents my eyeshadow from creasing because my lids they tend to get really oily I'm glad that this dries clear so it's not going to affect the color that I just applied on my crease area so on my eyes I'm going to be using two shades from this palette and this is the Sigma my warm neutrals palette I got this as it was in a PR package that they sent me recently so I'm going to be using this color here on my lid I'm going to take my MAC 239 shading brush and I'm going to dust this on my lid I'm not going to use a base because I swatched this and it was super pigmented after I swatched it so I'm hoping that it shows up nicely on my lid okay it's not bad So next, I'm going to take my Sigma E45 and I'll take this brown here. This brown is matte, but it has some specks of gold glitter on it. I just hope that the glitter is not messy. So I'm concentrating on my outer corner and then dragging the color slightly inwards. Going in with my MAC 217 and the same eyeshadow. I'm just blending the eyeshadow into my crease area. It looks okay the gold glitter is not showing up and i like the fact that it's not okay so i'm going to be using an extra shade from this palette and i'm going to be using this one i'll use this to set my brow bone area this brush is my sephora precision eyeshadow brush i use this brush all the time you guys know it by now so i'm going back in with the orange blush and my mac 224 and i'm just going to blend out any hash lines so I'm going to be giving my eyes some extra pizzazz. I'll be using this glitter here called Queen. It's by a brand called Ida's Atelier. Atelier, I don't know if that is the right pronunciation. Ida's, that word. So I'm going to apply this on my lid area just over the champagne colored eyeshadow that I use from my Sigma palette. And I'm also going to apply this maybe on my lower lash line, we'll see. I'm going to go on ahead and apply my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and I'm going to pat this on top of my lid area where I have the champagne shade.
I'm going to line my waterline and I'm going to be using this Mabrook Extremely Soft Eyeliner Pencil in black. So I'm going to use a liquid liner but I'm going to create a very very tiny line, just a very small line, nothing dramatic, nothing winged out. So this liner... So this liner is the Line Ace Liquid Liner by Sigma. Nope, I don't like the applicator that it comes with. I'm going to switch to my regular MAC 210 brush. I'm not going to come and ruin what I have just done in the name of management. But the liner itself is very, very black and super pigmented. So the brush gives me the control that I need. The applicator was too flimsy. I'm going to apply some mascara and I'll be using the Clinique High Length Mascara as usual. I'm going to be using this pair of lashes by a brand called Nail Cosmetics and this one is in the style on my lecture. I've not used this one before. Okay, so I'm thinking that these pair of lashes, they're like very natural, fluttery, flirty, perfect for everyday wear. But I don't think that they, they stand out well enough with this glitter that I have going on here. So I think I'm going to switch to another pair of lashes by Nail Cosmetics, but I'm going to use Omoke this time around. This one is a lot fuller. I've used this before, but you know, I'll probably use this again in another tutorial, like a tutorial where the lashes will actually shine. Right now, I don't think that they are shining, so I'm going to switch to Omoge. Okay, so to finish up the eyes, I'm going to take my smudge brush by Sephora. Any smudge brush will do for this. I'm going to take the same brown shade that I used on my crease and I'm going to smudge this on the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm also going to smudge a little bit of the champagne shade that I used on my lid on the inner part of my lower lash line. So with a small synthetic brush, I'm applying some of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue on top of the champagne shade that I just applied because I want to dust some of the glitter that I have on here, around here as well and this is going to help it adhere. So I'm priming my face with the usual Elamasca Matte Veil. So for my foundation for this look, I'll be using the Black Opal Stick Foundation and this is in the shade Nutmeg and Hazelnut. You guys have seen me use this foundation to contour but I've actually never used it as an actual foundation before. I was prompted to um, use these in my actual shade because of Ronke Raji because Ronke uses this a lot in her tutorials. I was like, let me try this because the finish that she always gets is bomb. Hazelnut is more of my color than Nutmeg is. Nutmeg is Nutmeg has um, some yellow undertones to it and I have more of a red undertone to my skin tone so i'm just going to apply a little bit of hazelnut mainly hazelnut though and then in between in random spots i'm going to apply a little bit of nutmeg so to blend it out i'm using my normal foundation brush this one is by juvia's place and this is actually blending out really nicely and smoothly So to highlight, I'll be using this Milani concealer that I got and this one is in the shade Secret, um, no, not Secret. It's in the shade 03 Honey, but then the concealer is called the Milani Secret Cover Concealer. So with a small brush, this is the Sigma F70. I'm just going to apply this um, under my eyes, all the areas where I normally highlight. Okay, so the one thing that has surprised me about this concealer is how easily it's blending out. Like it's blending out so seamlessly and I just got this concealer two days ago for like 3000 something. It wasn't that expensive. Oh my goodness, I actually love this a lot. So I'm going to quickly contour and I'll be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour in the shade Espresso. I've not used this one before. This is way darker than the normal shade that I'd use to contour but I just hope that it blends out nicely. Okay, it's actually blending out really well so.
And to set the contour parts of my face, I'll be using this palette here that I got yesterday. I'll be using this shade here and it is by a brand called Patista and it's their absolute matte cheek beauty. So this is supposed to be a blush palette but I think that I can get away with contouring with this one. So I'm going to use this to set my contour. This brush here is my Sephora small contour brush. So to set my entire face, I'll be using this Sigma F25 Tapered Face Brush and this is like a perfect dupe for the MAC 138 brush that I'd normally use here. So I'm just going to use this to set all over my face. This is my Black Up 2 Way Cake in TW11 by the way, I use this all the time. So for my blush for this look, I'll be using the same one that I used earlier on my crease. It's by Classic Makeup and this one is number 5. This is my Real Techniques Blush Brush so I'm just dusting this on my cheek. So for my highlighter, I'll be using this one here by Ruby Kisses. I can't remember the price, but I remember that it was really cheap. This one here is in the shade Bronze Glow. It looks a little bit like Max Gold Deposit, so I hope that it shows up like Max Gold Deposit on my skin. So to finish off the look, I'll be using this lip color that I got yesterday and it's by Jcat Beauty and it's called their Soft Matte Lip Cooler. The shade here is Frosty Raspberry. It looks like a very, very bright red. I haven't tried these um, soft matte colors before, so I was like, let me start from here. Guys, I love this lip color. It's like a very gorgeous red. This is the type of red that I like. But then it's not really matte and then it's not glossy. I don't really have anything like this and I'm really excited. I love the way that this feels on my lips. The only thing though is that it's giving me this tingly sensation that you tend to get with things that have menthol in them. But mm, I love this. And this was really cheap. It sold for $1,650. You guys should let me know if you like me to do more of these. Don't forget to thumbs this video up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah.